Welcome everybody. I hope you're all doing okay. You have clicked this video because you have an issue with your model. Um, and it's a very simple issue. An issue that's driving you mad. An issue that you need to get done because um, of uni or because you can't remember for the life of you how to do it. Um, but I was here for ages trying to do it because it's really bothering me. In the background here, I just have um, have a my model previously, um, and I'm just going to show you the issues I had after I skinned it, um, skinned the model, um, uh, added the bone. Sorry. Um, what I'm going to do is quickly pop the webcam off now, just so you guys can see full screen. Stay there. So basically, um, yeah. So I select I select the um, bone. You can see, and you can see the bright red areas that the vertices are now taking control of and you see this shape here I tried for ages to change that shape and I could not get it to work um, really irritating the crap out of me um, so I just want to show you how I basically sort of fix that for me to begin rigging up my model so if I just quickly pause this and I load up 3ds max which I have up here now and load up my model very quickly so here is my model and basically I just wanted to show you so I click on the modifier tab and let's get rid of that for this this instance and I'm going to expand all so you can see all the bones I have here basically I want to now click edit envelopes now we're back on the same sort of screen as I had before and when I click the bone now, you see that I have this, and this is what I wanted. Um, if I just quickly take it off there and go to the left clavicle and show you the rotation. Before, if you remember, it was really pulling all the chest area and everything. So now if you have a look, it's so much better than what it was. I'm not saying it's the best, because I've only just, this is just to show you the fix, because I haven't really done anything more than that. But I'm just showing you how to do it. So if I go to edit envelopes, and you click on there, and what's happening is the whole model has gone grey. Apart from you get a solid red uh, vertices here. That's no good for you. You can't, you can't do anything with it. So basically what I want to show you is a quick fix. Now if you go to weight properties, and under weight solver, Next to voxel on the right, as you can see here, there's three dots. Click on those, and you're greeted with the geodesic voxel solver. Now, the fall off I left at 0.2, the max influence zero, max resolution 256, and I left these two options as they are, and I clicked apply. And when I clicked apply, basically the bone that I had selected, or if you haven't selected the bone yet, select it now. Um, and you can see this this is what it gives me now okay and this is what I wanted so with this I can then basically let me show you uh, say if I want to click on the pelvis for example with this I want to be able to decrease or increase the bones affected or the vertices affected on the body of my model when I go to animate. So if I click on now <clears throat> the weight tool, and let me bring this up. Now I just want to go through this quickly with you. Basically, if I click and drag over, oh, actually, hang on, before we do anything, I know mine are on. Make sure your vertices are turned on for this, okay, or else it will not work. So <laughs> just quickly. So if I click and drag now all over these these vertices, and you see. These little squares there that means they've been they've been collected now I've got set weight 0 0.95 scale weight 5.0 and my pace plus tolerance 1.4 now we see I've got hold of the spine 0 1 bone which is down here now and I've got these vertices I'm holding on to these vertices right now so if I click on scale weight well don't click on scale weight if you click on the minus sign of scale weight you'll see the color change in the middle here okay so if I click it a few times it's gradually changing if you guys can see that okay now 
if I could probably do it back up. Now, if say vice versa, if I click it plus sign, it will increase. So when I that means that bone, when I move that bone, this will increase. This will move more than what it would have done before. So let's get that back as well. Right, and then right. So anyway, also. If I just, if you've got a ring that goes around all the way like that, say if I click on the body there and then control, hold down control, click again, and then click loop, it will pick up all of the ones in a loop. But it has to be in a loop. If it's not in a loop, it will not pick it up. So, for example, these, the ones on the arms would be good because they go all the way around it in a loop. And same again, you can use them again like that. But you can do it individually. So you can just get those two pieces or just the one. Or you, maybe you just want that area. And you can decrease and increase. But also, if you click on there, just say. And this one's set weight. So this is bigger. This will work in a bigger scale. So if I click plus, you see the bigness of the bigness. <laughs> see, <laughs> the more vertices have been, well, the, the effect of the vertices it had on it then. So, the bigness, I love the bigness, that's funny. Uh, so yeah, you can go up and that takes it down you know, in a larger amount, shall we say. Um, basically, that is all I wanted to show you and I'm hoping that is, before, oh, actually, before we go, make sure you do click off edit envelopes once you've finished because you will need to do that. So anyway, thank you for watching everyone. I hope this video has helped you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos on uh, 3D modeling, video games design. And uh, thank you for turning up. And we'll see you again soon. Cheers.